Hey, do you look for what you want to see? Yeah, probably. In psychology and cognitive science, confirmation bias or confirmatory bias is a tendency to search for or interpret information in a way that confirms one's preconceptions, leading to statistical. I'm error. already bored of this guy. Confirmation bias represents an error of inductive. Now look. Confirmation bias is simple. It's our tendency to cherry pick information that helps us to confirm what we already believe. It sort of looks like this. So we have our facts, we have our preconceived ideas, and then we have what we see. Now, in an interesting piece written by Ziva Kundra titled, The Case for Motivated Reasoning, we give special weight to information that allows us to come to the conclusion we want to reach. You see, accepting information that confirms what we want to believe is actually really easy. It's the contradictory information that we tend to shy away from. Now, how does that hurt us in sales? Well, in a lot of ways, actually, but let me give you three. First of all, our confirmation bias affects how we see our customer. Do we see them as partners or do we see them as adversaries? If I see this as a battle, if I see them as my enemy, then anything they say that's off-putting at all will confirm, uh, I knew it, I knew that's what I was going to get right here with this person. The second way it hurts, this is the way that we interpret customers' comments. Suppose a customer says to you, well, we're just getting started. Question, does that comment trigger a confirmation bias? Do you tend to look at it and say, yep, yeah, well, there you go, I'm not gonna get that sale today. Is if you believe that people don't buy early on and they need a long time to be able to look, then when somebody says, we're just looking or we're just getting started, what's going to happen? It'll trigger your confirmation bias. See, now we're going to combine that confirmation bias with what is called attribution theory. How do I attribute the results? If it went right, it was me. If it went wrong, no, nah, that's on the customer. <laughs> Now, what's the remedy to this? How do we battle the confirmation bias? And I'm gonna to suggest to you that awareness is 90% of the battle. You have to be aware of how easy this is. You have to be able to listen to the voice in your own head. I wanna make a suggestion here to you. Have the conversation with your peers. Drop this on the table at a sales meeting and say, hey, can we talk about confirmation bias? You might even wanna show this video as a discussion to be able to get together with your peers and say, where do we look for things that are going to confirm what we already believe? Listen, this is not easy, and that's why I want to suggest you have the conversation with your peers. That self-awareness can be one of the more difficult things that we ever do. But if we're going through the process of wanting to know ourselves, it all begins with honesty. Now, a coach likes to say this, all change begins with being honest. We have to be honest about our own confirmation bias. So brainstorm it, think it through. Once I know what triggers the confirmation bias, then what's gonna happen? I can go back and be prepared for that. And when I hear that comment, that phrase, that behavior, that action from a prospect, I can look at it and say, nope, I'm not going there. I believe the best in the people that are coming through my door. And that is how I change their world. And there you have it, another episode of the 5-Minute Sales Training. Have you hit subscribe yet? Have you clicked on the little bell to be notified? Have you gone over to jeffshore.com and signed up to receive our free Saturday morning newsletter? It's a great way to start your week off right and make sure you are in control of your own mindset. Because at the end of the day, you know what we want to do. Learn more to earn more.